Hi everyone, this is Studio Slave on behalf of ADSR and in this video I'm going to show you the new capture feature in Ableton Live 10. So in case you haven't seen me use it in any of the previous videos, we've got this square capture button up here. And what this allows us to do is it allows us to capture any MIDI input which is record armed or input enabled. So you can see here this track is record armed or I could also input enable. So it's now listening to the MIDI. And likewise, if I don't if I press it now, you're not going to hear anything. But if we record on that track, we've got this hang drum, which we can now hear. So the problem we used to have is we'd have to hit record arm or arrangement record, and we can play stuff in, which is brilliant. But if we were having a jam and we hadn't pressed record, sometimes you're going to forget where your keys were or where your hands were on the keys. And then by the time you go and hit record and try and record something in, the idea has been and gone. So wouldn't it be nice if Ableton Live could remember your last MIDI idea that you played in? Well, that is now what our new MIDI capture button does. So this not only works during playback, but this also works when the music is stopped as well. So at the moment, you can see we've got a tempo of 124 beats per minute. And what I can do now is I've, I just play something in. So I'll go for a arpeggio. So now when I hit capture, it's going to capture the last played idea, which was my arpeggio, into the arrangement, and it's going to map that, so that's now 124 beats per minute. We'll just go in and we'll quantize that. So this is brilliant, it now means that we can play in our parts and we don't really have to be too bothered, as long as it's with MIDI, we don't have to be too bothered about what's going on with the recording because we can always recall the idea if we liked it rather than have to go in, working our way through our recordings and edit the MIDI that we've recorded. So let's just give that a go now, I'm just going to do a little jam and we'll see what happens. So let's just quantize that and what I'm going to do as well is I'm just going to pull these a little bit off the grid just because I want it to have a slightly sluggish feel. So I think we've got a note that's not quite quantized properly there so let's just pull that forward a bit. So we now have our captured MIDI in place and it's edited so I'm going to copy it across, let this play out and that is now everything for this video on the new MIDI capture feature and I'll see you in the next video where we're going to have a look at the arrangement view and arrangement view editing. Thank you.